Whew, okay. Let's do this, okay? Are you willing to fight? Help us save the oasis. It's been so long since I done a review for a film in English because as many as you know of you know I make Spanish reviews for a website called Criticologos here in Puerto Rico and you know since then I kind of stopped doing the funky movie reviews a uh, movie experiment Blech. but this time around I needed to do this I just came from watching Ready Player One in in theaters for a, a press screening like a week and a half before the movie comes out and I gotta say in my years doing this in my years going to press screenings I've never seen film critics screaming and cheering in the theater there's a lot I can say but basically this movie was made for old school gamers and present gamers pretty much like everybody who plays online who has their console or play or play on the PC or play anywhere you're going to freaking enjoy this movie it's a Steven Spielberg movie so you know it's well done the, the action in this movie is like very fast paced but also very well done. It's not like super fast paced all the time. It has the, the balance, like a perfect balance for everything. So I really like that. The music, if you are from the 80s, if you are fan of that type of music, you're going to love this. You're going to love the soundtrack. And it goes well. Like The movie has the 80s vibe so well, but also mixed up with futuristic stuff. So it's kind of like they made the movie in the 80s based on the future but film now film in the present um if you like fandoms if you like i mean video games or anything like from anime from tv shows from the 80s okay 90s you are going to be so hyped movies of course you saw the freaking posters you're going to see a fucking De DeLorean as Back to the Future so yeah there's those elements plus way way more like I need to see this movie a few times to actually see everything that there's in there and I'm sure a bunch of reviewers are just going to analyze frame by frame every single uh, series of everything there because this is uh, a movie for people who like you know 80s pop and pop, you know popular stuff it's not a perfect movie there's you know there are little faulties I know there's been kind of like a controversy with I don't think this is a spoiler because it's in the trailer Iron Giant is in the movie they had to replace uh, he's the one who replaced I think it was Voltron because they didn't get the rights for, for for Voltron. And I know I saw a lot of people complaining that, oh my God, but the Iron Giant, he just wanted peace. He didn't want to do war and blah, blah, blah. People, he's not the Iron Giant. He's an avatar. So he can do whatever he wants. If he wants to destroy stuff, he can do it. Just watch it. Enjoy it. You got, I'm, I'm trust me. Trust me, you're going to enjoy this movie. It has a story. It's not going to be the same as the book. And that's why I didn't read the book. Because in my mind, I'm going to start like, you know, this is not what happened. This is not what happened. Oh, no, no, no. They changed this and they changed this. No, I didn't want to go to that mentality. I have the book. So <laughs> I'm sure when I get inside my house, I'm going to start reading it. But what I can tell you, even if you haven't read the book... But you are a gamer. This is this is a movie for gamers or people who like action pack movies or sci-fi movies. You're going to love this. And I think I can just change the name of this movie to Easter Egg, the movie, 
because he has so much easter eggs he has so much info he has oh my god i want to thank wonder brothers who invited me as you can see i came prepared this was a gift from wonder brothers so thank you for this these are amazing and let me show you they blink or you know seizure version and also you know after i got out of the movies i got my percival i mean uh, amiibo oh my god funko this is the exclusive one it's clear it's kind of clear but kind of like iridescent i don't know if you... i'm going to do something that most funko collectors don't do i'm taking it out so you can see oh yeah you can see it better the camera doesn't show it that well but it kind of changed to a bluish color it's kind of iridescent freaking awesome cool if you grew up like playing atari playing nes playing you know very old school stuff you're going to love this it's kind of like a tribute to everything you grew up with it's here i guess the best way to explain this is this is the gaming version of who framed royal rabbit like when that movie came out it was freaking crazy it was the hype was super high because you could see mickey mouse with box bunny and you can see you know droopy you can see Hanna barbera cartoons with warner brothers with disney you've never seen all these companies come together and this is the same thing but only the gaming version which is it's huge this movie is huge i'm going to give this movie two thumbs up i mean it's so fun and you know in the past they have tried to make movies about gamers per se and it hasn't gone too well and i think this is the best movie that i've seen that they do justice to what being a gamer is you know it's more about having good teamwork about having friendships no matter your age if you love gaming and you're good at it it doesn't matter so i think this is a good rendition and a tribute to gamers out there who you know who love this who a lot of people do not understand why they do this why there's people you know living just by doing streams on twitch you know it's because it's fun so yeah i'm giving five uh five thumbs up yeah five thumbs up i'm giving this movie just really awesome and i think maybe next year i can see this movie getting nominated a shit ton of times yeah i said it i said it here before it happens so yeah hope you enjoyed this review if you like this you know just let me know and I can keep making these and yeah follow me whatever I don't care about that crap so yeah tell me in the comments or send me a message or whatever whatever you want to do if you're going to watch it and what do you think about and even tell me which are your favorite fandoms especially on gaming and maybe retro stuff you know I just want to know so if you like this and you want to see more of this, then yeah, maybe I can do more. So peace out. Bye.